Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about how to hook up your van at a campground for electricity when you choose to camp at one with an electrical hookup. This video is for novices, beginners, people who really have no idea what they were doing because I was one of those people at one point and I had to figure it out the hard way. So I am at Lake Havasu State Park and typically when I stay at campgrounds, I just get a 30 amp hookup. Um, all of these are actually 50 amp. So let me show you what that looks like. So as you can see here, we have several different hookups. We have a 30 amp, a 50 amp, as well as um, the GFI protected uh, 20 amp outlets. Now at KOAs, generally in other campgrounds I stay at, they typically don't have um, these regular sort of outlets like this. Normally they're just these big ones, which is why I need an adapter. Okay, so I'll show you. So this right here is a regular extension cord. This extension cord is a 25 foot extension cord. You can buy one at Walmart or really anywhere. So it is a very basic extension cord. Okay, it's just a regular, it's just a regular extension cord. This is my Jackery 240. My Jackery 240 powers my phone, small electronics, and laptop. Let's break it down piece by piece. This unit, or this cord, comes with the Jackery. So this is what it is, it's this little charging box. So you plug it right into your Jackery here. Then it plugs into this extension cord. Now I could plug this, the Jackery, directly into that box since I have an outlet for it, but I'm not going to because I'm far away. So plugs into the extension cord, the extension cord then comes to the electric box. Now I could have plugged it in right there, but I have an adapter for 30 amp spots. So this adapter, which is the yellow thing, plugs from the extension cord into the box. You can buy one for $10, Walmart, Amazon, Home Depot, lots of different places. So now I'm all set. So that's all it takes. I'm getting 39 watts of input into my Jackery, and that's how I hook up at a campground. Conversely, I have really good sun today, so I'm actually going to set up my Jackery trifold solar panel because it typically gives me about 50 or 55 watts of input, so it'll charge my Jackery a little faster using the sun, which is surprising, but it is true. And my solar panel plugs right into my Jackery. I'll do a separate video on the solar portion. But this is how you hook up at a campground. Jackery into the electric box or Jackery into the extension cord and you have to use the adapter um, because a regular extension cord won't plug in unless you have that normal wall outlet. So I hope that helps with van life electricity at a campground and this doesn't require a 50 amp spot um, these massive rvs that are parked around me they use you know they'll need the the 50 but i just have mine plugged into the 30 because that's all i need and generally when you go to other campgrounds like a koa or something where you have options on hookups i get a 30 20 amp spot because i don't need anything more than that so Adapter, extension cord, Jackery. Be looking for my video on how to use just the solar panel itself while you're at a campground. Thanks guys for tuning in.